Good evening, and thank you for tuning in. This is Doctor's Orders, and please gather around, relax, have a cup of coffee, light up your smoke, do what it is that you do. Today we're going to look at some snaps based on speculation around Flat Earth British Sub's recent video on Technosma. So please watch it to find the correlations to these structures. We are diving into the 1915 Panama Pacific Exposition in San Francisco, California. And we're going to take a look at what could very now be hidden technology. So yes, this is in San Francisco, California, one of the only uh, buildings surviving from the exposition. So I'm going to dive into what I wanted to read on the wiki was how they built it. Constructed from temporary materials, primarily staff, a combination of plaster and burlap fiber, almost all the fairs, various buildings, and attractions were pulled down in the late 1915, intended to fall into pieces at the close of the fair, reportedly because the architect believed every great city needed ruins. The only surviving building on the exposition grounds, Bernard Maybeck's Palace of Fine Arts, seen below, remained in place, slowly falling into disrepair. Although the hall used to display painting the sculpture during the fair was repurposed as a garage for Jeeps during World War II. <clears throat> the palace included the colonnade with its signature weeping woman and rotunda dome energy gathering. <clears throat> was completely reconstructed in the 1960s and a seismic retrofit was completed in early 2009. The Exploratorium, an interactive science museum, occupied the northern two-third of the palace from 1969 to 2013. The city-owned Palace of Fine Arts Theater has accompanied the, the southern one-third since 1917. So, <clears throat> sorry. What I'm pointing out here is that these marvelous buildings you're about to see were all designed to be torn down that same year, supposedly. But this one was, you know, worked on um, and it's still around today, this building. This one, this Atlantean Roman, like, you know, colonnade style um, energy gathering technasma device. And like I said, please head over to, to Flat Earth British to check out um, the technology. So <clears throat> we're going to check out this video. And I am just wanted to show you a quick snippet. The fair closed officially on December 4th of 1915. Closing ceremonies were filled with emotion and nearly half a million people wept as the flag was lowered from the Tower of Jew. The scintillator, manned by Marines, projected patterns of light on great clouds of steam thrown into the air from a locomotive painted to look like Mars. Great clouds of steam by Marines, projected patterns of light on great clouds of steam. So did you see that? Did you see that flash of light that went sideways? And the camera wasn't moving, um, <clears throat> so it's just boom. What is that? Did you see that? And it's and it's supposedly they're making great clouds of steam on locomotives painted white to re resemble marble stone, and but they didn't make any of the buildings out of stone. So I so I don't know. It looks like they cut off part of this video, and this is a twenty-five minute long video. You can find this. You know, here's the name on YouTube. Watch it yourself, and you will find there are many parts of this video where they cut off um, parts, and it just makes it look like there's some electricity going on, and they're hiding from us. So I encourage you to check that out. Okay, so this is another website. I had to really zoom in on these photos, um, but you can't click on them and get like a bigger photo, but you really got to zoom in still. So check it out. This is the West Facade. Festival Hall. There's the architect. <clears throat> so this is these are photos that have that are they're black and white photos that are printed, reprinted, and then colored. And I guess this one's, these are from Berkeley, UC Berkeley. 
So I just want you to, to take, take a notice of the dome structure, got the domage, energy gathering on top. You know, <clears throat> we have all these wires, all of this. And this is 1915, right before we entered the war, 1917. Like I said before in my previous videos, the world wars were used <clears throat> as history rewriting tools for the controllers. <clears throat> There's no way you can rewrite history unless you go to war. Well, in my opinion, obviously there's other ways. Uh, so here's another picture. So I'm only pointing out the few that I think, you know, are like just stand out. This huge ass column and these old, these look like super old looking columns already. I mean, you know. All right, so we're gonna go to the next one. Here's an, here's some more energy gathering poles for you. The domage, the domage with the dotted um, the dotted sp spireage, and I'll show you in the video. They put like they, there's words that point out. I'll show you right now. I mean, in the video, they call it the innocent fair. So at that time. They all knew it as the innocent fair. Well, I mean, in the flyers and everything, they called it the Pan Panama American Exposition. But this is like some mind trip, uh, illum like a type of illuminatic, you know, video putting it in your face. The innocent fair. Hmm. Okay, right here is where they point out domes and spires in the video, and it looks like they just chopped it all up. Check it out. For the talk of the horticultural world, hundreds of full-grown trees were transported right there. Exported from all over Northern California to the exposition ground. Trees were transported from all over Northern California. Hundreds of full-grown trees were transported from all over Northern California. So I don't get what the heck that's about. So again none of um none of the video includes sound all of the sound on that video that you saw on youtube was put on afterwards because they didn't have sound recording technology in 1915 supposedly but i wanted you to see that they did point out domes and spires and whatever else they wanted to point out about it um was hidden from us obviously the symbolic the, there was more symbology going on with the the little girl and her and then they put domes and spires and it's like okay what's going on what's flying through the air energy ether what is it what is she sim symbolically standing for so here's some, another colonnade right look at those what are the, what are those there for just like the last video i showed you where there was an exposition in, in uh, san diego as well this looks like that building with those two things on top but what are they for this this is like some weird i wouldn't even know what the technosma would be doing for this like i don't know but i know for a fact it has to be look at this this looks like ancient rome but this is supposed to be a photo from 1915 san francisco can you believe it look at that door right there okay boom a portal is it literally called a portal sculpture by the guy, and his last name is Stackpole. Okay. That, okay. Are you serious, people? Got the knobs. This is for, you know, energy gathering, help make people feel good when we were still Atlantean. Um, I want to I wanna show you the, like, look at this. And then I want to show you the people that they took pictures of, too. So right here is another website I found. Um, like, you know, these are just people that they took pictures of, uh, you know, and these are just very, in my eyes, what I would call Atlantic type looking people. I think nowadays we all look like each other more often, but back then, like they had poor care. Okay. <clears throat> I got to cut it short there. As you can see, these are very Atlantic, Atlantean looking people right here. You can check this out on your own. I will try to make another video on this more info video but i want to say thanks to my 15 subscribers and the one guy named jay who mentioned this fair thank you for tuning in and support the truth